Hello everyone. Now I will show you how to install the install and run the app in the background. Directly into your phone. You have to run it manually every time. Please make sure that your USB connection is perfect. Place it aside. Open the lock if any lock present and click on run. Sorry, I'm sorry, the wrong device. Let me stop it. Let's rerun this. It will install app into your phone locally. Not from authenticator software like Play Store as you are testing this directly on your phone. It is filling the files, necessary components, and rendering them. It will take about five minutes, I guess so. Once once it installed, you can you can run out smoothly without taking much time. And this file in the Amazon config.
into cover four minutes and now eleven and two minutes for compare debugging cotton. Now I can wait for under five minutes without disturbing the phone as it won't lock. Successfully built all the apps, it will now launch the app. This is a simple app by default. If you click on this, connect and send the challenge to, to layouts over the Mac on machine. This is an I can wait for my action and it. This is pass fragment. This layout. This is the second fragment. This one. And the main ad with the connects both first fragment and second fragment. That's it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for videos like this. And please. Let's check the properties. Size of the file. Storage and cache. The app size is 5.28 MB. Large and amounts of the components, so that's where it is by MB. If it has so many features and inbuilt, it will go.
Let me go up slides. If I uninstall it, if you want RS, you can continue it while you are still developing the app. After completion, you can test the region on your mobile locally. And if you find any vulnerability, any missing features, you can add them. It will be in a good go because Android emulators provided by this and the studio will take so much of space and run your GPUs and CPU very much of the time it consumes more badly and the performance also reduces of your laptop if you use emulators like Pixel 3A or any of the device any of the other devices that comes along with this so please connect your phone and app and android studio directly using usb connection which i made the video which i made a previous video and how to care how to screen copy the device onto the laptop that's it thank you please like share and subscribe